and welcome to the Culture Show. We're here to join in the opening celebrations for this year's RA Summer Exhibition, the famous show that's been happening here in London for 242 years. This is Varnishing Day, when artists would traditionally come to apply a last coat of varnish to their works. Not many of them do that anymore, but otherwise, it's a day of rituals that have never changed. Those rituals include this one. Um, this procession is made up of artists, members of the public, who've had their work accepted to this year's summer exhibition. And they're all processing, as they've done every year for more than two centuries, to the Church of St James in Piccadilly to have the summer exhibition blessed. It's all very old-fashioned, but rather special, just like the summer exhibition itself. Tonight, I'll be rifling through some of the thousands of entries sent into the show. Things have got to leap out at you, which this does, this does in a way. <laughs> we'll meet four artists whose work, I hope, will make it into the final exhibition. We'll see where some of the art bought at the summer exhibition ends up. Alistair Sook talks to established artist Fiona Ray about curating a room in the show. When I came in and saw it yesterday, I just thought I want to do a runner and someone else can take over. <laughs> <laughs> and Tom Dykoff looks at models for buildings real and imaginary in the room put together by star architect Sir David Chipperfield. Plus, we'll be announcing the winner of this year's £25,000 Wollaston Award. Our panel of critics will be revealing what they think of the exhibition this year. And I'll be chatting to Stephen Fry, who's giving the speech at this year's Royal Academy of Arts annual dinner. Now, when the Royal Academy was founded back in 1768 by this gentleman, Sir Joshua Reynolds, one of its main aims was to turn art in Britain into a public event, to have an annual exhibition where all the artists would compete with each other just to get in. And it's been going ever since. Now, getting your work chosen is as hard as it's ever been. The people who actually decide what goes on the walls are the Royal Academicians themselves, elected members of the Academy. But I thought I'd have my own little go at spotting some likely contenders. I've come to have a look round the vaults of the Royal Academy to get a first glimpse of what's in store for us at this year's summer exhibition and to see if I can pick out a few things that, I hope, will make the final selection. All the works of art in here were submitted by members of the public and all of them stand a chance of getting into the show. Just look at this, a thousand works of art lurking in the darkness of the Royal Academy's vaults, awaiting discovery. Now, this 1,000 have actually made it through the first stage of the selection process. They've been whittled down from an original 11,000 by a panel of Royal Academicians, and even out of <laughs> these hardy survivors, only half of them will actually make it through onto the walls of the final show. But how did these paintings, prints and photographs make it to this point? I bought two pictures, ink and water on very thick watercolour paper. This is a landscape, both from uh, Idaho. It's, it's quite a kudos to get your pictures into it, so... I think if I got my picture, I'd be quite excited about it. No, no, no! <laughs> the Summer Exhibition is the world's biggest open art show. Anyone can enter, and every year, thousands of people do. I've waited 58 years for this experience, and uh, I'm not going to miss it. This is what has brought me out way down here on. It's here. It's all wrapped up. And this is the trolley. I'm not collapsed on me on the way down. Kind of like the expector of that, isn't it? Yeah, you. Of almost, so you go first. <laughs> the first step to getting into the show is to survive the scrutiny of the Royal Academy's own selection panel. It's quality we're looking for. It can be something to do with atmosphere, with colour, with tension, with mystery, um, or it can be something which just simply absolutely beautifully painted. Can we keep that in? Okay, please. Between us, we seem to quite quickly establish a line of quality which, which we 
can all agree to. Yeah. Yes, indeed for that one. When the works arrive and they're passed along the line one by one, you very quickly have to get your eye in and you have to make very instant decisions. Uh, luckily, it's not just a one-person vote. There are a couple of people probably need to agree on a work. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can we have both of those? Put, put the two of them together. Yeah. The process is, is hundreds of years old and is primitive and still the way that it works best. It's a filtering process and it's at this stage we're screening out uh, uh, the, the, the certain knows and we're seeing the good, the bad and the ugly and everything in between. The two categories are X which means no and D which means doubtful or deferred to the next stage. Put it in for now and we'll look at Give it again. Give that one a D. So here they are, the doubtfuls. Now, they represent, in a way, the grey area of the whole selection process because this thousand or so group of works have pleased the judges of the show sufficiently not to be completely rejected, but on the other hand, none of them have yet completely made it into the finished show. And it's important to remember that only 50% of the doubtfuls ever do make it to the actual walls of the summer exhibition. Now, I'm going to have a little bit of a nose around and pick out some of my own favourites. <laughs> Ah, I'm hoping to spot some things that will make it into the final exhibition. And to assist me in my search, I've enlisted the help of two of the RA's art handlers. Can you turn them round and prop them up on there? Very bright and acerbic acid colours are in this, yeah. I think the thing about this process is that things have got to leap out at you. Which this does, this does in a way. <laughs> it does leap out at me, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Quite striking. He hung his wild years on a nail that he drove through his wife's forehead. Well, certainly wins first prize for arresting title. <laughs> I think that's rather interesting. So it's sort of hopper esque, but intriguing. I'll put that on one side. Don't, I don't want to damage it. <coughs> but I do want to look at it. Um, I quite like that. That's something of the children's illustration about it, but I quite like the slightly wonky draftsmanship. I like the use of colour and a slight sense that there's perhaps more going on than meets the eye. It's very difficult because you're plucking work out without any knowledge of what else this person does. You really are taking a punt, but I'm, I'm prepared to take a punt on this. I quite like that. Not quite enough. Uh, it's lots of perfectly. I'm not saying that these works aren't necessarily going to get through. I'm just looking for something that I particularly want to get through, and I haven't found it yet. Oh no, that I do like. I immediately like that. I like the way it's caught the texture of some old wall. There's a lot more skill in that than might at first sight appear. That's, that's a really beautiful collage. I think it's oil. Is it oil? Oil and mixed media, I would have thought. I like the work itself a lot. Yeah, very good. Well, hang on, at least that looks like an interesting image. Can I get that one out? Now, I think this is one of those pictures that isn't what it seems to be. <laughs> I like it. It's a photo. I think it's a photo montage. So that, <laughs> yeah, how come there's an alpine cable car in what seems to be a desert scene? I'd like to know more about it. So my four choices are the little painting with the intriguing title, the print of the boys in the woods, the small mixed media collage, and the photo montage of a surreal landscape. Well, I've made my handful of selections, I've placed my bets, but in this particular version of the Grand National, remember, there are a thousand runners, so I can't be completely confident that uh, my particular favourites will get through, but here's hoping. <laughs>